Well, good morning. Beautiful day. Still got somebody doing some DIY somewhere, otherwise it's spookily quiet. Right, this was what I did yesterday. So, that's the result. So I'm going to have to clean all this glue off, likewise with this one. And then, once it's all cleaned down, I'm going to colour it. And then I'll transfer the whole markings off this one onto that one and drill that through. And the next project after that is this. I'm going to have to colour this new cane that Tim's just finished magnificently to match the back here. So that'll keep me occupied today. See you later. So it's lunchtime and this is as far as I've got. That's all smooth now. Top and bottom. So that's ready to colour. And this one, again, nice and smoothed off, all the glue's off. So that's ready to colour. So that's the next, next little job. So I'm testing a small area there look, to see if the colour's right and I think that's pretty close. So let's get this on as quick as I can. This will just be the base colour and I can build up the look of age hopefully in extra coats later but it gives you an idea of we're getting towards match. And the other rail, the one that I repaired rather than replaced, just make the, the glue lines disappear. Pretty close. Yeah, that'll do. So while I'm waiting for that lot to dry, I thought I'd bring this into the workshop and uh, do this. What I've got to do, that's old cane there. I've got to make the new cane match that colour. Let's begin. Well, first of all, I've mixed a lot of dry earth pigment together to get close to the colour that I think I'm going to need and then I'll start by lightly spraying the seat and then quite quickly run around the edges first Make sure that all those pegs are coloured, otherwise it looks ridiculous. Now, then I go very quickly over the whole surface. Now I'll set that aside. And I get a dry brush and make sure that that colours work right into the weave. You can see already it's starting to look a lot older. And actual fact, I think that's it. So putting it in the light now. That's the tinted colour and that's the original. So what do we think? I think that's close enough. Now that that yeah. lot's all waiting to dry before I can do anything else, so I'm going to revisit all these little bits and pieces that are apart and see what's next. Well, of course the, the leg there, that's that's got to be put back together and then there's this piece here. I think I'll start on that. Well this piece, this is a front stretcher that goes between the two front legs. 
it's obviously broken a very long time ago and this is a, an old repair here. See that piece is missing, should have this on the end. Well that piece is still over there in the front leg. And when you turn it over you can see the old repair. And it's, it's effective but it's not very pretty. So I think what I'll do next is I'll get these off, I'll get this piece out of the leg and then see where we go from there. Well, surprise, surprise, it was easier than I thought it was going to be. Look. Voila. Ah, yes. Excellent. So, this is the other bit that I've got to get out so that I can fix that front stretcher. Now, I can't get the steamer in into this joint, so what I'm going to use instead is some boiling water and a syringe and try to encourage the water to just go gently, ah, it is doing, into the joint like this. So, because I know it's animal glue, and if I can get enough in there to just soften the animal glue then I might have a chance of getting it out. If it doesn't work it's going to potentially have the effect of reconstituting the animal glue and making the joint even stronger. So it is one of those occasions when you just think please, please work for me Please. Well, time will tell.